Luke, what, Luke, what's your message to the younger guys as you're going through something like this to try to come out on the other side and just get another win and get, you know, get this thing rolling the other way? Yeah, um, my message is to the younger guys on the team, you know, yeah, it sucks that we've been losing, but we just need to keep that energy like we had on Saturday. I felt like that was by far the closest we've been as a team with the energy and all the excitement that we had. So we just got to keep bringing it. How did it feel breaking two guys for 100 yards? And it seems like you ought to win something like that, but uh, is that something you, you can see continuing? Yeah, I mean, we um, we had a great plan set out last week, and we I think we executed pretty well having they were like 288 rushing, and I think that you know, I think if we keep keep doing that, then I think we'll be keep getting successful at the run game. How much could having that explosive guy who can go for 60 and 70 yards help the offensive line from a conditioning standpoint to the point that you don't need to grind out three or four third down conversions every drive to try to get points? Uh, yeah, it's it's great for the O line because you know having those consistent runs. It's uh, we always thought you know it's hard to make the consistent plays for a long period of time, you know, seeing the, like last week we had multiple long runs that really helped us out getting a better field position and not have to be out there as long. And I think it just helps everyone out on the offense rather than just the other line. You kind of said something after one of the games, uh, you know, hey, keep coming out. Dante said the same thing. What, what kind of reception have you gotten from students? I mean, I know I, I would venture to say most are not likely to challenge you on anything, but uh, <laughs> uh, what are you hearing? Um, just like, you know, there's always some people, all the, all the naysayers, but you got to block them out. And, you know, they're, all the students are still very proud of us, all proud of uh, who we are playing football. And just like they just want to still come out and support. Can you pinpoint the change in energy? Why was it different this past Saturday? Um, I think we just knew something was different that day on Saturday. And I think... The help of the uh, we called them the juice mob. All the guys who were like at the 50 yard line just constantly waving the towels. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but uh, you know they were just constantly yelling, and uh, it, it was really you just felt something in the locker room before the game. Like this, some something's different compared to the past couple of weeks, which was awesome. Any thoughts on Elder and Oak Hills? Man, <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's gonna be a good game. I can't wait to watch that on Friday night. But uh, you know my. I already, I had some, uh, my brother coaches there at Elder, and he already said tensions are very high, so I'm excited. Is that a laptop in the room on the road? Uh, yeah, if a laptop or phone, I'll, yeah, I'm going to be on it. Probably be going crazy, but. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for Luke? Thank you, sir. Thanks, awesome. Luke. Thank you.